now it's working. Sweet. How's it going, everybody? I just started a new file this morning. I didn't do anything yet. It basically just saves you from watching the intro, which takes... Oh, no. <laughs> no, it didn't save you. we got to watch the intro again. Um, it's really annoying because... Okay, maybe no. It's annoying you can't skip this stuff. I've never been much of a story person. I've always preferred just getting straight into the gameplay. The only game stories that I've ever really liked were uh, Interstate 76 and. Spaceship game. Homeworld. Homeworld had a pretty cool story. But I usually play games just for the. Uh, I usually play games just for the gameplay. So, this is one of my favorite games of all time. I've never beaten it by myself. I've. When I was a kid, I used to love watching my friend play it. Uh, because he was smarter than me and was good at it, and it's fun watching somebody who's good at the game and actually knows how to get make progress and stuff like that. Um, I tried to beat it myself a couple years ago, and uh, I sort of got stuck at the water temple and just sort of lost interest. But just like maybe you've noticed a trend on my channel, I really enjoy getting classic games running at high resolution with some graphical enhancements, and it just makes them look a million times better than they ever did on the original. And it just makes them nice to play because. You know, you go back and you play your old favorite games and they look terrible compared to what you remember as a kid. Because at the time, it was cutting edge, but now it's it's awful. The only thing, only complaint I have is at 30 frames per second it does look pretty choppy. Especially when I'm used to like 144. Unfortunately, the physics are tied to the frame rate, so you can't really change it. I saw a video on YouTube where a guy used a post-processing thing after the recording to interpolate it to 60 frames per second, and it looked so much better. Uh, but, you know, this is what we have to deal with, so... It's still an amazing game. So I'm sick today, I feel terrible. So I'm hoping this will make me feel... take my mind off it maybe a little bit. I guess for an hour or so before work. Yeah. I don't know why I named him Dan, I was going to name him Bill, and then the controller wasn't working and I fixed it, then I named him Dan. I didn't think I was going to be playing with this name, I was just testing it out. <laughs> Get out of here, Navi! I was sleeping. Now you're, you wake me up and you insult me? Get out of here. This is my house. Yeah, I'm sick today in my hand, my I've got like carpal wrist, carpal tunnel syndrome going on from using the mouse too much for other games, so I decided to play a controller game today. speedruns on this game over the last year or two because they're super interesting and I remember basically what to do in the beginning from watching those. I 
also got the Descent 2 High Definition remake that I downloaded, which I'm really excited to start playing, which also is a controller game. I haven't configured it for the controller yet. It doesn't really have controller support. It sort of does, but like, not modern controller support. So I'm going to have to make a custom XBCD controller profile that, you know, I'm going to map all the keys to the keyboard controls. So basically the controller is going to be doing keyboard inputs so that I can use in the game. Sword. I don't know why. I'm pretty good. We're gonna fast forward through the text. There we go. Just gotta literally press every button on the controller. Alright. Okay, that might be an issue. I don't appear to have a left trigger. Control or Z. Oh, it's like this, okay. Nope, yes. Okay. Yes. There we go. That's what we wanted. Oh, that's not what we wanted. Yeah, I'm just drinking black tea with honey. I feel better. Sick and I have to go to work, which sucks, but I'll be fine. When I was practicing getting this set up for recording this morning, just hearing the music again while I was watching some videos of like all these different emulators and high definition texture packs and all these ways to make the game look and play better. I never got it. I didn't make any improvements over this setup, which is what I had. It's Project 64 or version 1.6, which is important because other versions don't have anti-subject filtering. And this does, so it makes the textures clearer. Um, it just makes it look amazing. Uh, but yeah, no, I was messing around watching videos and stuff, and I heard the music of the game, and it made me get the old guitar out, and I wanted to play, uh, like, Lon Lon Ranch. I love playing that on guitar. I was just having trouble getting my amp setup working. I've got like a USB to computer, so I can plug my guitar into my computer, but there's a delay, so it's annoying, so I think I have to get an adapter so I can plug it right into my stereo amplifier. Um, alright, I guess the next step is to... I'm pretty sure I should really pick these up. There we go. The next step I'm pretty sure is to buy the shield. I'm going to try some of those speedrunning glitches at some point and try to get through whatever his name is that guards the door and the map. Okay, there we go. And you can do that wall glitch in the water over there in the Lost Woods and teleport like halfway through. I forget how much the shield costs, let's go and see. Fast walk, everybody walks, runs backwards like this, and speed runs like this faster. I still gotta get used to these controls again, I haven't played this in a couple years. That's not the shop. The last thing I need to. Uh, so you use it. Mash the buttons. I'm mashing every button. There. Why is it so hard to skip the text? Forty rupees. I need three more rupees. Thank you. 
Alright, now let's, uh, I think we can go to the Deku Tree now. I think that's, uh, somewhere. I think it's up this hill, maybe. What's his name? Mr. No Fairy, look, I got a fairy bitch. Let me skip. Peachy. Mido, I knew it started with an M. Look how clear the graphics are, it's so amazing. I'm running this at 1440 by 1080 resolution which is the maximum native resolution a 1080p monitor can display. But for some reason, that's not a stock resolution in the settings that come with graphics drivers. Even though you'd think, I guess, not enough people use 4x3, enough 4x3 content to demand it, but... Um, you can look it up, it's different for NVIDIA and AMD, but you just do a search how to add custom resolution, and there's just usually a button in the display options, or the drivers, display functions, or whatever, you just go to custom, you add resolution, you type in 1440 by 1080. Or you do the math and figure out what 4x3 resolution is for your screen, depending on what your res high resolution is. Because non-native resolutions uh, look terrible on non-CRT screens. They do not do pixel scaling as nicely as CRTs do. Up here. Oh, is this the tree? Oh, the lost woods. Maybe I should have looked at them. Oh, I remember now. Oh, you won't let me in the tree. I probably should have read why. I also don't have a fairy. There was a fairy. There was two fairies when we were talking. Oh no, see, there he is. Okay, I remember it's right and left. And right. Here's where the skip is for the speed. And left again, I think. Pretty sure I'm doing the wrong thing right now. I don't even know how to start this game. That's how much I don't know about it, even though I love it. Actually, um, I do need to be in here. I think this is. I think I see Saria in here, and she gives me a fairy. Maybe is that what happens? Is that what we do? What's up, Broski? This is 
ready to go. I'll have to look up a walkthrough just to get out of this. I got farther last time. This is sad, really. And it's crashed. check a walkthrough to figure out where I got stuck in the very first room, so it's like the best part of the whole game, but uh, I just have to go talk to Mito again. He didn't let me through the first time because I didn't have a shield and sword. And one of those problems that I have when I don't read things. And now I do have them. So I'm going to talk to him again. See, look, there's two fairies now. It looks like I have one. Oh, I didn't equip my shield, even though I have it. I'll go through this dialogue again. Oh, I didn't save it. Alright, let's go get the shield again. coins so quickly the first time. Again, smashing all our pots. That really uh, left the building apparently before I could get it. Ah! <laughs> 
was level four. I don't know what I'm doing. Ooh, that was good. 
forget how to block with the shield. What do I do? That's not it. This uh, cheap Surefine brand black tea that actually tastes really good. It's one of the best black teas I've had. Better than some more expensive ones I've gotten before. And uh, the secret to keeping it tasting good is as soon as you break the plastic on the box of tea, you gotta put all the tea bags in a Tupperware, or else they just go bad pretty fast. But they stay good if you put, if you keep them sealed up. That's why the nicer teas come individually wrapped so they don't go bad. But that gives so much more packaging material, it's annoying, you have to unwrap every single one. Figure out 
have a button to shoot this with. Oh. I'm thinking it would be fun to try some SNES and like Sega emulators and uh, to see if those games will look just as good at high resolution with texture filtering and all that stuff that I'm doing for this game. with three hearts and no continues. And then I just remember every single issue after that had a list of people beating this with three hearts and no continue. And it never, it seemed like it never stopped. Like there were just so many people that did it. I don't think they were anticipating it. That many people were gonna successfully do that because just literally every issue had more. I think they had so many people do it that they could only put like Ten or whatever per magazine, and so every magazine issued, they just put the next ten. And I don't know if they ever got through. Man, that was... I don't know if I. That would be pretty tough. That would be pretty tough to do. Take some practice, at least. Thank you. 
spawn down there. Okay, if I jump now, will I make it through? Uh, Alright, okay. Yeah, I need to burn it, right? Is there a torch in there?
my friend. Oh, Maddie. So thoughtful, Maddie. So yeah, I was gonna say my friend had this for 3DS. Weird, they read they well, most of the game is the same, but there's a few textures I noticed that were different. Um, like I forget what temple it was in, but there's a temple with like the kind of skull looking I don't know what you call them, like skull designs on the wall, on like tapestries or whatever, and they look really different. They don't look as good, they look more like childish or cartoonish. The skulls in this one look cooler and, uh, and like more badass, which I like. I don't know why they why they changed them. I thought they were too scary for kids or something. Bombs? We didn't get bombs, did we? No. 
now. Just enough time to finish the uh, intro dungeon before I gotta go to work. Alright, two, three, one. working. I hate it when they don't work. They have to redo it. Well done, Dan. Man, I wish I'd named him something more creative. Oh, 
thou hast fairly demonstrated thy courage. No, I'm not going to listen to you. <laughs> Story time. Oh my lord. So the Triforce contains the essence of the gods. Keep playing this now. Hunter. <laughs> or thoughts there. <laughs> 
Get out of my I hate you. Yeah, I think I've just enough time to see Saria in the Lost Woods, and then I'll end it there for this first episode. What a nice symphonic sounding set of instruments this is. of this game, with all their compiling and encoding tools and everything, and all the raw game engine and everything, and have them patch it up, you know, for widescreen, and add some better lighting effects and stuff, that'd be so awesome. But I'd probably feel the same way for every old game I play. Try a different way. Might be left. I need the arena to do that there. Maybe actually, never mind, I think I'm in the wrong place. I think I have to go to that other thing. Stage 76, I love hitting all the signs with the car. Here we go. Oh, you're leaving. I knew that you would leave the forest someday, Dan. Because you are different from me and my friends. But that's okay. Because we'll be friends forever, won't we?
want you to have this ocarina. Please take good care of it. Play my ocarina. I hope you'll think of me and come back to the forest to visit. Anytime, sorry. Future waifu right there. <laughs> Not good at talking to the ladies. Same technique I use. <laughs> Just run the other direction. <laughs> oh, it's the owl. Oh boy, everybody's <laughs> everybody's favorite owl that talks for like 25 million years. And then it's like, did you understand that? And you say no, and, you do, and then he talks for another 25 million years. Ooh, ooh, damn, look up here. Princess there. What did they? What did the Deku Tree call the princess? Like not Princess Perfect, called her something. Divine Princess. I didn't really like the texture packs I saw for this game, but there are like sky background texture updates that look amazing. So I might try to install those. guys, so this is sort of where the game really starts now. Got that introduction sort of tutorial out of the way. And uh, I'll see you next time. I got a little work. Hope you enjoyed it. You know, it was a bit of a, a bit of a long start after the game crashed and I did recollect all the things and all the things and I didn't know what to do, but uh, I'm going to save it here. I'm also going to make a save state in the emulator just in case. That one didn't take, but it should work. So, uh, yeah, see you guys next time.